In Pakistan, there's a long, big uh, solar plant. As you can see, it starts from here uh, and it goes all the way around, you know, pretty much this area and behind the building as well, as you can see. Uh, each panel is around 485 watts and there's around millions uh, of rays. Uh, you can see the so string sizing, the series connections all the way. So more than 50 kilowatts, I believe, for this commercial area. Uh, and then there's going to be maintenance for this. You can see the racking system is L2 structure with uh, ballasted poles here on the ground. So keep it strong uh, mounted for secure, stable uh, conditions. There's lots and lots of uh, mounting pipes here. The solar panels, they're monocrystal, polycrystalline, uh, the bracket here. I'll show you the arrangement as well for the specifications. This is all the readings and uh, levels, voltage levels, current levels, the, the brackets, the L2 structures, series connection, steel connection, standard steel. And then you have the uh, you have the facing on the south side of the sun with the angle, uh, kidney angle, like 45? 45. 45, 40 to 45. So this generates uh, almost 100% ROI. So you can see there's an AC combiner box which takes in the total uh, AC combinations inputs from the multiple string inverters which are Huawei. And these string inverters are taking in the input of the PV string uh, s string series connections so that are up from the ceiling on the roof you can see going down into the DC circuit breaker box the PV combiner boxes so that at night when the reverse current flow when the solar panels are not working you can have it for safety precautions for fire hazard and then that is feed into the MPPTs of the solar string inverters or the Huawei inverters and then from that they're combined into the AC combiner boxes to then f feed into the transformer to step up the voltage as well the buildings connected um, there's also spacious behind so there's no shading behind the solar panels 1.5 centimeters i believe from each solar panel array so there's no shading coming from another panel from behind the structures from the pipes connected behind for uh, water maintenance uh, cleaning this is the other side Solar panels on the east wing. How much is it? This year is 93,000. 93,000. So last year they used to have a bill around uh, 9.3 million. So, and then having the solar install after one year, they get zero, net zero bill. So pretty much zero uh, net metering process, giving back energy to the K Electric uh, energy provider, electricity provider. And yeah, the, the ROI, you know, immediately reduced the, the savings of the 930,000 uh, that they usually get on electricity bill. So the offset is 100% consumption, uh, generating more as well, especially now the summertime is coming. So more excess generation will be coming. This is perfect time, especially now today's market is very expensive. As you can see, uh, very, very expensive, the prices for solar system, especially for this 485 watts polycrystalline modules. They are in excellent condition. Uh, and then there, you can see the wiring connection, earthing. They are also connected for each solar panels to make it uh, stable. So there's grounding as well. There's 15 plates on one array and then you have more than 15 behind. So 15, 16 arrays. 20 arrays from, from behind, 20 arrays in front of you. Then there's 15 on top of the roofs on both of those uh, buildings. So, and then there's one above here. So there's more than at least 50 kilowatts more, something like that. For today's video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll meet you guys till next time. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.